Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to talk about the IUPAC nomenclature of alkynes and alkenes but there's a catch at the end we're gonna look at all four substituents so stick around till the end for the for the very hard example so that you can learn how to name organic molecules better but without any further ado let's begin so if, so this is an alkene substituent let me change the name real quick uh, this is an alkene substituent which is just like an alkyl substituent, it is a hydrocarbon, meaning there is no chloral, fluoro, stuff like that. Here, the dash bond, wedge bond, everything. But there is a difference between alkyl and alkyne. Alkene. I get confused with all these types of names, so sorry if I say something wrong before. Uh, so this is a double bond and that's what's really key point about alkenes is that it will have a double bond and it's a hydrocarbon so this one again we have to identify the longest carbon chain now one thing about naming we have to name the, the double bond the first so even if the substituents on the other side of the molecule if we number if the subs other substituents occur sooner it will not be the bigger priority than the double bond or alkene so it begins in one and this is one two three four five And here again M M for methyl, so this is coming first. Four four dimethyl. We have to write write the double fours, otherwise there will there will be mistakes on where the substituents are. And now the double bond, which starts at one and Pentene. Okay, so that means that it's an alkene. I know these are very confusing names, so just stick around. Now we're upping our bonds a little because now it's about alkynes. Here is, it's pretty much the same thing. But there will be another substituent, such as fluorine and everything, and it will have a triple bond. Okay? Now, it looks a little funny this way, but that's how it is. I've heard and seen that some people draw alkenes like this. Now remember that this is actually the wrong thing to do or the wrong way to draw geometrically. You see, geometrically this is correct no matter how funny it looks, <laughs> believe me. And here, even if you number it in the right order, you know, get it in the right way, it's still gonna be geometrically correct incorrect and if you apply it on a test or something you might this little mistake might you know cost you some marks so this is very important to keep in mind so let's get to the numbering again highest carbon chain remember in the video where in a video where i said that 
it wouldn't always be horizontally that's that applies here so the triple bond will occur soonest that way so even if I listed one and two fluorine comes first but one two three this triple bond comes first so we're gonna name from left to right one two three four five six seven and its name okay F for floral because that's what we're gonna write first F six floral and then we're gonna write three because it's a trouble it starts in three and it will be a hep Heptene, hept, representing that there are seven carbon molecules, carbon atoms, and the e, the heptine, the heptine represents how it's an alkyne. Now, if you paid very very good attention in the intro you would know that we're gonna do an example on a real molecule organic molecule now a real organic molecule has all these substituents mostly mixed together and here Again, we have to identify the largest carbon chain. Remember to pick it very carefully. Like I said, this is tricky. Like I said in my previous videos, this is tricky. Because you could have gone horizontally in the plane, but you're going from here. To there because it's a longer carbon chain. Now we have to name it from right to left. Because this is the substituent that occurs soonest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is a heptene molecule. And we have this butyl here, which is an alkyl substituent. We have this hydroxyl substituent, which is an alcohol the methyl which is also alkyl and the hep and there's also a double double bond here now for this case one substituent has to take higher priority than the other that's why IUPAC has a list of which one takes higher priority. The hydroxyl takes the higher priority. So we're gonna... So that's why we're gonna number that first. And then the al alkyne, then, then the alkene, then the alkyl or, or halogen, any one of them. So C for chloro, so we're gonna start with 5 chloro. The chloro was here and it was on carbon 5. 3 ethyl, because the ethyl is here. 4 methyl, which is here in the methyl group. And here's the tricky part. This 
is an alkene and an alcohol. This is very confusing. So, like, we have a double bond here and we have this substituent right here. Here we have to do a special case. That is to write three hep hep ten one all. It might look strange, but we're representing the heptene, meaning that we are telling us that yes, this is a heptene mo heptene and the all represents the alcohol in carbon one and the three heptene and the last n gets replaced by the hyphen to ensure that there is also an alcohol here so that's all go that's going to do for this video if you had confusions with this video, because there was a lot of confusing things here, feel free to watch it over and over again. So, that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!